Ons wens jou een hartelijke welkom hier bij die AG Gaink op Rugby Stadion in Windhoek in Namibie. En jy kyk natuurlijk na die Office Economics Rugby wel wintagging. Nou vir Koopwater Rugby kon jy kwalijk beter weer bestel het. Dit is so 19 grade Celsius, dit is wat die kook sê op die vroege wintersmiddag. ...by die noordooste 18 km per uur, maar daar sal natuurlijk help om die spelers en beamtes een bykie af te koel. Nou onthou om 4 uur bring ons jou die hoofwedstrijd, natuurlijk tussen die windhoek draaf, wel wietjas en die uitnodigingspan van die blauwbille is alles ter voorbereiding van een Namibiese poging om vir volgende jaar sy wereld beke rugby eindstrijde te kwalificeer. Maar eers gaan ons opwarm en dis met een skole rugby dabie is in die Kommersdal Medical Center, One Construction, Windhoek Afrikaanse Privaatschool en Skoemans Groep, Windhoek Gymnasium. Na hierdie wedstrijd gaan ons eers rechtstreeks oorskakel ook vir skole rugby na Stampreet waar El Nathan sy dertigste bestaansjaar vier vandag. Nou ja, ons gaan nou nou terugwees met daarin sê jy gaan jy ons bring jou onderhoude en daarna al die aksie. Get in! Who scored? I did. Sports fans know whether you bet a little or a lot with PSD Bet, you're not just watching, you're playing. Yes! Who won? Me! And with over 1 million paid out to winners each month, your life can get very interesting. So kick things off by going to psdbet.com. And if you don't get your winnings within one business day, we'll double it. Why watch when you can play at psdbet.com. I studied medicine. I studied geology. I studied the Bachelor of Science. You start to heal people, touch patients, you touch lives, you save lives, you realize this is really what you want to do and you never get tired. Having graduated from the University of Namibia, I was able to open my own law firm and help people attend to their legal problems. Let's do the things that must be done and make it great. If you want to do it, just do it. That's what I wanted to do. So the sky is the limit. My unum, my pride. Alright, so, 4pm, it's Vinduk Draft Valvicious taking on the Vodacom Blue Bulls. The stadium is certainly starting to pack up, it is the 4th of June. You are at Hage Gengob Stadium with NTV, we are broadcasting on DSTV Channel 2 at 5, Gold TV 94 and 1up2.com as well as our YouTube page Namibia Media Holdings. It is a day of beautiful rugby. Like I said, we started off with the little ones. We're getting into the under-19 game. Right now on your screen is Vinduk Gymnasium under-19. Number one, their prop, Osha Awala. Number two, Shrada. Number three, Herman Kutia. Sander Fancel and Visser are your locks. Thunissen and Ruan Achenberg are your flanks. Janaman Brandt is your eighth man. Zeno Van Veek is your scrum half Visaki, your fly half Stefan Hildenhuis is your is your uh, first center player, Denver Beaker's second center. Looking at uh, the next team, of course, uh, that's uh, Vava, Liebenberg, Olivier, Mouton, Pearson, Wessels, Otto, Berger, Hildenhuis, Jurgens, Sipka, Verfeig, Captain, Hanekom, Tromp, and Olivier, as well as Tewis Berger at the fullback. It's going to be an exciting game. Yeah. 
as you can see, VAP with their beautiful flags, blue and yellow. Of course, they're hoping to beat Vindic Gymnasium Blue today. <laughs> Vindic Gymnasium, they're known as the Lions. Will they be roaring today? And of course, you know, when you're playing a kind of game like this with the same spectators that are going to be here for the National Rugby game, you want to impress, you want to do your best, and you definitely want to tell people that you have a future in this sport of rugby, which is why NTV is right here for every single moment, looking at those wonderful Vindic Gymnasium students, all of them hoping to cheer their fellow pupils on, on a day of beautiful rugby, NTV. And uh, joining me now is my colleague, Danny Boyce and Danny. You were just downstairs. How's it? Man, die weer is uitstekend. Uh, denk ek, uh, Ashwin, mm. verkoop water rugby. Ons sien werkelijk uit daarna. En hier is een groot dabi in Windhoek. Het is in die twee skole. Ek denk hier, uh, dit gaan vir mekaar enige genade genie. En is natuurlijk al vroeg in die seizoen, uh, Ashwin. So it's going to be interesting, I think, this early in the season to see how the two teams of Windhoek Afis and Windhoek Gymnasium weighs up against each other. Yes, yes. Uh, gymnasium had a very good game against Windhoek High School at the Inter High about two weeks ago. They won that uh, quite convincingly at least. You could tell that the other team lost their spirit towards the end of the game. I don't expect the same from uh, VAP. I expect it to possibly be a slightly tougher challenge. They seem to have been having a better run. Evenly matched is what I'm hearing on the ground. Ja, op papier natuurlijk kan jij spannend vergelijk soos jy wil, maar op die einde is wat op die veld gebeur die belangrijkste. En ons sien daar die uh, ander kinders van die twee skole wat wacht vir die spanne om dier die tonnel te kom hardloop. Groot afwachting en uh, hulle kyk, onthou, as jy nou hier vroeg in die laar school is, as jy nou think of your early primary school, these guys are your heroes and that's why you're there to... to Tell them, welcome on the field. Go, yes. guys. We represent our school and make us proud. Yes, yes, indeed. It's time for some beautiful rugby. Being cheered on, of course, by their fellow schoolmates. Gymnasium, the final huddle. Captain is talking, getting his troops together. Nou, daar is Koemans groep Windhoek Gymnasium waar haar kringetje maak. Ons wacht nog vir Windhoek Afies om uit die tonnel te kom. Hulle word geborg natuurlijk dier uh, Kommersdal Medical Center en ook One Construction. En doodse stilte nou op die stadion. Terwijl ons wacht vir die tweede span en hier die heerlijke Namibiese skolerak die dabie tussen twee spanne van Windhoek. And uh, like my, uh, I think maybe uh, Ashwin, maybe Windhoek Office is trying to create some anticipation by uh, <laughs> yes. making us wait for them to come out of the tunnel. Oh, yes, yeah, they, maybe they're already trying to win the game mentally before they win it on the field. Here come the boys. Vindogafis making it onto the field. Lots of support for both schools here. Lots and lots of support. And old, uh, I didn't, I don't know if it's metal or if they call it heavy rock those days. An old cla classic on uh, which rhythms they ran into the stadium. But now they're taking their places on the field. So yeah, we are going to see a little bit of Hier die Dabi, dit is in Windhoek Afis en Windhoek Gymnasium. Sien ook jou Tjalboor daar op die skerm, soos ek nou net gesê het. Een wijnkie wat hy raak nou, voel vir my of hy biekie stewe geraak daar die noordoost uit. As die skuitsrechter wat die vleikie blaas en die wedstrijd begin daar, afgeskop dier Windhoek Gymnasium. Hulle probeer om self terugwen en vastmaak, lyk of hulle die bal besit behou het. Alhoewel daar groot druk van Afiese kant kom, dan gaan hy in die achterlijn af, loskakel wat om aangeen as die centerpaar. So bykie achter die man gegooi daar. Good Marie. opening run there by Vindic Gymnasium. Seems like they ran straight into touch. Of course at the beginning of the rugby game, nerves are easing, none is quite 
you know, settled enough yet to start doing those phases that the coach would have definitely asked for. Okay, so here we go. Yes, the line sound from the wedstrijd. Uh, the scheidsrechter, Mr. Nicardo Pinar, you see him there behind your screen. He is in the van of the wedstrijd. Spanne wat voor hem te kom van die lijn staan. Nie een volle lijn staan nie, is die nummer 7 daar van Windhoek Afies wat ingooi. Het was Ben Burger as my spanleid, Skoregus, dan skoppel hom diep achter, maar die heel achter, my achterspeler wat op sy plek is, hy bring die bal voor hem toe, sit hom mooi terug vir sy voorspelers om hom veilig te maak. Dan word hy kort gespeel, rechts af aan die achterspelers toe. Windhoek Gymnasium, wat om dier die tweede fase sit en dan weer in die achterlijn afspeel. Lastige, lastige verdediging dier Windhoek Afies in die vroege stadium van die wedstrijd. Hulle sal waarschijnlijk hulle opponente wil probeer vastdruk hier in hulle eie kwart gebied as hulle een fout kan afdoen natuurlijk. So Ashwin, a lot of running already early, you know, it's not... Uh, it seems the guys have a lot of energy in them. Yes, this trying to get that season. first try in. You know, of course, once you get that first try, you can build on that momentum. Um, yeah, we we're just inside the 22 of Vinduk Gymnasium over there. We managed to clear it out to touch it. Let's see how they continue this game. Like, again, it's still the beginning of the game. Just over two minutes. Nerves are still settling. Just now, I feel like we're still seeing much more structured form in the rugby game. It is a Vinduk Afi's line out. Weer Ben Berger met die bal, is die nummer 7 flank van Windhoek Afrikaanse privaatskool, hulle gooi voor, hy is so teruggetik vir sy spelers, hulle doen goed om wel die bal besit te behou, is Windhoek Gymnasium wat probeer om hulle opponente in die licht te hou en hulle na die kantlijn toe te draai, vir hulle slaag ook inderdaad daarin, en Ashwin, just so quick, uh, quickly, the assistant referee on this side, I think is Mr. Dani Kun. Mm. He was the referee of the year in 2016. Wow. So we actually, for the school games, we have some of our best referees in action. And, and we love that, because that way the students know that we take rugby seriously at every single stage in Namibia. All right. It seems right now we've got a Vinduk gymnasium throw in Afi's. Making sure to recover that over there. Sweet interception. Let's see what they do it. Will they swing it? They're going to run it. Afis seems to be quite composed going through their phases. Not deterred by the energy of the beginning of the game. As when it like of the phases will come, phases will obey. It is not very hard. Nie, bal afgeneem, nie, nou dier uh, Skoemans groep, Windhoek Gymnasium hulle skop voor en toe, hulle wil hy veld wen, maar as die uh, rechter vleel en ook aan die achterspelers van Windhoek Afies wat vinnig terugval maar hulle bly steeds onder groot, groot druk, hulle sal nou die bal wel veilig maak net om een beetje rustigheid te kry is die nummer 9 daar Heinrich Geldenhuis van Windhoek Afies wat die bal aangee en dan skop hulle kantlijn toe Nie uit nie, so is hier is nog een kans vir Windhoek Gymnasium om aan te val. A lot of running Good in run these guys the Ashwin. Good run by Steyn. Good run by the fullback. Unfortunately could not hold on to the ball. I think we're going to come back for scrum. Well, we're, we're playing advantage. Let's see what Afis does with it. They may want to clear ground unless they're that confident in their running. Here comes the kick. Well blocked, out into touch. Het die rechtstelling daar, die skramskakel natuurlijk van VAP is Vanus Jurgens. Heinrich Geldenhuis is die achtste man. So ja, ons raak nog gewoond hier aan ons spanlijste, maar soos die sê Ashwin, die van Stein daar so, die heel achter van Windhoek Gymnasium, wat een mooi loopje gehad het. En sy span goed op die aanval geplaas het, maar is die verdedigende span, want ook Afrikaanse privaatskool, wat nou weer kan ingooi, Ben Burger, en hy gebruik die nummer 7 flank as hakker in elke lijn staan vir die ingooi werk, is achter vastgevat daar, het lyk soos Driekes Peersen op nummer 5 slot, en dan skop afwees om ook weer veld af, en hulle wen ver veld. They might not have coordinated there. Let's see if Stein can give us another good run. He is obviously determined, growing in confidence after that first run. Let's see how Vindic Gymnasium K 
can answer. Right now, Afi is seeming to be under quite a bit of pressure. Decent chip there. Oh, what an unfortunate fumble. Very unfortunate fumble. It's definitely going to be a Vindic Gymnasium scrum. The speler wat daar glad en gelukkig is nie, hy wees ook dit duidelik vir ons allemaal, maar Boeta wees maar rustig, mens maak veel kies, dit is maar rak wees soos die lewe, <laughs> het raak, soms raak die druk een bykie hoog, maar mens kan altyd terugkom en dinge recht maak, hierdie gaan die eerste scrum wees van die wedstrijd, as we in the first scrum, so it's going to be important uh, to see the two packs weighing up against each other. Yes, and of course, trying to be disciplined, you don't want to wield the scrum, and uh, you want to gain the referee's respect at the same time. Showing your strength and dominance. If you have a strong scrum, it can intimidate the other side for the rest of the game. And now he's from Wijk. He is the scrum skakel from Wintook Gymnasium. He has the ball in his hand. He's going to now in. Now he's in the scrum, and the scrum drives so even, but the ball is still in. He's the eighth man of Wintook. Pri- Afrikaanse privaatschool. Het was Geldenhuis waar hij omgekomen het, maar hij wordt gestraft. En dat is een strafskop wat meneer Nicardo Pinar toekent aan die span van het gymnasium. En hij probeert niet eigenlijk voor afstandskop mee. They just want a platform uh, from which they can attack, Ashwin. Yes. Yes, indeed. So, I mean, you look at this game right now, we're inside the 22. It is a Vindup gymnasium put in. So far, strength-wise, they seem evenly matched, but let's see how this play goes. Vindic Gymnasium looking very composed, moving that more forward, moving that more forward. It is wheeling a little bit. It wheels back the other way. Will they be able to put it out in time? This is a very good move. Vindic Gymnasium pushing it through, pushing it through. Will they make it across the line? We have our first try, Vindic Gymnasium. En mannen wat mekaar so bykie groet daar so is hoon, ons kan hoopelik nou weer uh, uh, weer kyk sien. In die uh, lijn staan daar was het Janneman Brand, achtste man en kaptein van Wintoek Gymnasium wat baie hoog gerank het om seker te maak van die bal. En vandaar het hulle die rolmaal beweging uitgevoer. Nou het is baie duidelik dat hulle die beweging goed ingeoefen het. Hier is die kyk weer as hoon, walk us through it again. Stunning, stunning over there. The consistency. Afis just could not construct themselves soon enough. Gymnasium taking it over the line. Brandt leading from the front. Ja, ons het uh, nog nie een goeie aanduiding van wat er speler die bal ha, achter die uh, lijn nie neergesit het nie. Ons sal nou nou raad vraag, hierso, maar dit is nou die eerste tyd vir die verdoelskop dier Wintoek Gymnasium. Hulle kan die telling aanskuif na 7 punte teen oor 0 teen oor Wintoek Afis. Dis die loskakel daar. Hier weer Versaghi, Versaghi wat los trek. Hy skok maar hy is links voorbij. Die twee assistents reis, uh, skuitsrechters wat sê hy is nie daar nie. Mooi skoe daar van achter die pale. En Ashwin, it's yeah. time to start again from the center. Yes. And I think Wintuk uh, Afrikaans private school will try to heat back as soon as they can oh, after definitely. almost 10 minutes now. Yes, the last thing they want is Vindic Gymnasium gaining any kind of momentum. Right now they're walking with their chest out. I'm sure as they're talking there, there's a lot of bass in their voice. Interesting follow through there by the <laughs> Vindic Afrikaans fly off. I like that kick. I like that kick. Office with the ball. That's our winger right there. Show some good pace. Held down. That's not good trump. He's here right of the field. Number 14 van Wintuk Afis. A good hard club chance. And uh, as well, I want to tell you, I think there's a lot of talent among these young players, uh, especially of what we've seen in the last couple of backline movements. They have been very lucky. It's not a good achter wat so a fop angie to do en om dan toch bij sy speler uitkry, maar dit is Wintoek Afis wat wel uitgeboener word dier Wintoek Gymnasium. En uh, as when I'm already uh, uh, stretching here on my oxygen, yes. and I'm only a commentator, <laughs> so I mean... I but you're right about the talent, you know, if you look at Wintoek Gymnasium, um, you know, some of them were selected for the Commerce Academy Week, uh, Visaghi, Birkas, Awala, Kambombo, Diegat, Gildenhuis, so... A lot of them are definitely being recognized for their talents at this age. 
Good puts in over there, swinging the ball swiftly across. Powerful challenge over there from Vindok Afis. Will they recover the ball? It's still a gymnasium possession. Not enough of an overlap, but enough pace to take it through. Swinging it back in. This is a good run by Vindok Gymnasium. Will he make it to the end of the line? Good run. He keeps on swinging it. This is good rugby. We're going to have a try. As you tweeted three of this wedstrijd, and number 14, a free loss, Rivaldo Diergaard, that very, very far with the ball hard up. Two binnen toe gekomen het en hij is afgerond door Steven Gildenhuis. Hij hier op mijn span lijst is hij die binnen center. We went to gymnasium. Mannen wat ook een beetje water krijgt. Ja, dat is inderdaad kook water rugby. En als hij nog die nummer 14 is er een wilde diergaard. Hij speelt toe binnen toe hier. Zeg oh man, hij speelt dus nog steeds hij. En dan is het die man met die nummer 11 trui wat oordijk vir die drie. So as when more and more pressure being hit. Much more pressure, now they get in momentum. Yes, and now I don't think he'll miss this kick. He's generally quite much better from this angle from the last game that they had against Vindok High School. Let's see how Fisaki does this one. Fisaki wat voor en toe kom. Slightly off left. He was kicking into the wind there, wind coming across the field. So I think it is a bit lastig for the scoppers in the früher stadium. The last van die ondersteuners van Windhoek Afrikaanse private school now op jou scherm. The telling wat ans geef na 10 nul in die twaalfde minuut van hier die schoolen rugby derby. It's natuurlijk deel van die afwis economics. We have willentijds uitdaging. Ashwin take us away. Yes, yes, it continues. Another good uh, tackle off the kickoff over there. Vinduk Afis. Well, we're going to be penalized for that. Looks like there were hands reaching in after the tackle. That's the thing about rugby. You have to manage your passions as much as it gives you an outlet for your physicality. Internally, you have to be disciplined. It is a gentleman's sport after all. Yeah, the Skies Rechter, what I like to say, was a big hug. But then, let the arms not om the opponent to come at me. Vinduk Gymnasium, where I'm a scope for the line. Het lijn staan so net binnen hulle binnen die 10 meter lijn daar aan die oop paviljoen kantlijn van die veld en die hakker daar Hendrij Skrader wat weer ingooi hierdie keer op die nummer 4 slot voor in die lijn staan waar we dan vinnig uitkom na die wonderful strip there wonderful strip there by Afis seems like they try to get themselves back into the game you can tell that mentally they aren't deterred yet in spite of Vinduk Gymnasium's two tries we are close to 14 minutes into the first half Afi's trying to get that first try in trying to get that first dose of you know of confidence how are you seeing the game as a whole right now Danny I think oh, they have very not good not. action I think uh, both teams trying uh, trying their best. Windhoek Gymnasium, wat net so piekie die voordeel het in die wedstrijd, wat hulle afronding specifiek betref, wat beslis ook die beter gebiedsvoordeel gehad, maar hier kom een goeie kans vir Windhoek Afis, hulle skop ook na die kantlijn toe, en hulle is 5 meter vanaf die doellijn van Windhoek Gymnasium. So Ashwin, here is where the challenge comes in, because if you have a position like this, you will have to score. You have to score. It's a wonderful position. They have to be composed. Are they going to swing it? Of course, I out see them perhaps trying to do two phases with the forwards, trying to push a little closer to that line, and perhaps it's try time. But at the same time, Vindic Gymnasium has been playing some really good rugby. They'll definitely keep their eyes open. Number seven, Ben Berger, wat afgoe, goe boer, sy nummer vijf, slop, Pearson, aan die achterkant, het geef vir Vindic Gymnasium kans om hierdie bal af te neem. Hans Kop, hulle ver voor en toe, groot, groot afstand, veld wat verloor word dier die span van Windhoek Afis. En Ashwin, like we said, when you get up there, five meters from the goal line, from the try line, you have to make sure. Yeah, but you know, you know, our rugby players, that try line fever, you know, the closer you are, the more nervous you are, which is perhaps why that throw went a little bit too off, but it was a good clearance by Windhoek Gymnasium. And let's see if Afis can 
try and return some balance to this game. They've had some good surges, but none of them quite materializing into a full play. We get to see the full form of their rugby at this point in time. It's been a lot of defense for Afis. As Burger, what weer kans gehad het om in te gooi, hulle behou ook die line staan bal. Hy het weer uitgespring hier vanaf die hand van een van die gymnasium spelers. Hy hardloop een gouden haar as hy mede voorspelers toe, om net seker te maak van die teken. So Burger gooi weer in, maar nou trend baie ver vanaf waar hy nou net na by die doelen kon ingooi. Afgeklap dier gymnasium in Ashwin. Here they come with another attack. Another attack which is coming from another missed opportunity from a line out. They're swinging at Vindic Gymnasium on a good run right now. Unfortunately knocked out. Yeah, it looks like uh, Vap really has watched the line out. Berger not having the best of throws right now. And if you, the last thing you want to do is, is lose line outs. Second to losing scrums, you do not want to lose line outs because they can easily materialize into try time. The momentum in this wedstrijd wat bly in this stadium by Windhoek Gymnasium is 10-0 voor 16e minuut van this wedstrijd. So is natuurlijk nog baie baie speeltijd oor. Belovende oomlikke reeds getoon dier Windhoek Afis, so hulle beslis ook talent in this span. But uh, you can have talent, but you must uh, translate that into points on Yes, oh, you have to. You have to translate that. So it takes a lot of organization, especially when you're down 10-0. You know all you need is a try or conversion and another try to get ahead. But you have to get your heads together. And right now, gymnasium, uh, I mean, Vinduk gym, Gymnasium as a school has been in existence for about 15 years. How, I'm not sure how long VAP has been in existence, but um, experience wasn't an issue for them against Vinduk High School. In spite of being a new school, they seem to be brilliantly coached and they're playing the game of rugby very well. Of course, this is not to knock Vinduk Afrikaans before school. It is a lot of rugby to go in this particular game even, and it could really go anywhere. Nou mense wat daar die sonniekie geniet op die oop Pavel Joen, hy Pavel Joen was natuurlijk vol 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 gepak hier in die jare 80 vroeger 90 toe Namibie sy blom tyd beleef het in die karibeker is nou WAP wat die skram voer, die skram wat weer even draai, hulle is onder groot druk so dit is die voorhuis hier van Windhoek Gymnasium wat hulle kracht wees, hy drietal is Osha Awala Henry Skrader in Herman Koetsie. Dis die drie manne in die voorhuis vir Windhoek Gymnasium. Aan die ander kant is dit Rudy Liebenberg, Alre Olivier en Johan Meton, wat in Windhoek Afies voorhuis sak, sy skramskakel, daar is Hanu van Wijk van Gymnasium, wat recht is om in te gooi. But as when a bit of a struggle in the scrums, this, this scrum has been reset a couple of times before the ball was lost by Windhoek Afis. Yes, indeed. All right, Windhoek Gymnasium, just outside the 22, trying to see what they can do at this point in time. They're going to swing it. We see number seven, Ruan Achenbach, but he was before he was He comes now again after two. For the other players, on the aanval to lose. Maar hierdie keer sê die skuitsrechter, meneer Nicardo Pinar, as boer die bal geduik, so hy ken strafskop toe aan die span van Windhoek Afis. En is die buitensender daar, Tienis van Wijk, met die bal in die hand. Hy gaan skop vir die lijn, nummer 12, sit om op die voet. En hy is uit, goeie, goeie afstand. En is so net, net buiten die kwartgebied van die opponente. Daar sien ons vir Johan Saiman van Windhoek Afis. Natuurlijk een baie bekende man hy in rugby kringle. Sy pa was ook een man wat Chris Saiman wat vir Zuidwest Afrika gespeel het, ook internationale toetse. Jare gelede, voor die isolatie tye nog. So groot rugby familie. Manne maak gereed vir die lijnstaat. Hmm. Alright, very interesting. The referee right now is going to have a chat with them. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, Danny, the players have been getting a little chippy with each other right now. There's uh, definitely no love lost between these two sides. And as a rugby spectator, of course, you know, that can only enhance the sense of competition. Of course, hoping everybody keeps the game professional. Everybody keeps their head above the water with regards to respecting their opponent. But at the same time, giving us full passion 
Daar ver buiten jou beeld, jou links daar so is een voorspeler wat vir een besering van die veld afgegaan het. Nou kan ons die spel hervat, hier so is ook een plaasvervanger opgebring. Ek kan ons sien. That's the third line-out that Vinduk Afrikaans Prefasco has lost possession on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure their coach is going to be having a lot of words for them at half time to try and polish up those line-outs. Especially because uh, the first line-out ended up leading to a try. So you want to make sure that you keep the ball and you can allow yourself to at least run your phases. Right now it's a Vinduk Gymnasium put in. Scrums haven't been completely consistent. But Gymnasium seems to be getting the better side of VAP at this point in time. Swinging it. Oh, unfortunately, knocked down over there. It was JV Fisaki, Loskakel, where the ball was unglücklich angeslagen and a very beloved bewegung is now a wind up afis where the ball for and to bring a cry for the old Arlegis Kitzrechter, but what now blast in the flaky. Quick tap over there by wind up afis. They're getting closer to the line. All right, so we have a knock on. We're going to have our penalty. Are they going for post? Are they going to run? Or are they going to kick to touch? Skuitsrechter Ricardo Pinar with a geel kaart here. Ideal on one of the voorspelers. So we can now see his number. Hartlo Pinar, he can't do like a long, lenig man. So it's probably a slot. He's now out of our field. Here on our monitors. He is now one man more. As when it's 14 playing 15. And, uh, yes, we just had our first sin bin. So maybe that's a good opportunity to rather play the ball than going for the post, and that is exactly what they're doing. Absolutely, there's a good chance of an overlap if they can allow themselves to take advantage of the situation. Vindic Afrikaans before school, just outside five meter line. They're going to try and run their phases. They are one man up on Vindic Gymnasium with all the Vindic Gymnasium players being sin binned. Will they be able to take advantage of this opportunity? Of yes. course, it looks like that is a try. Vinduk Afrikaans Prefat School getting themselves on the board. Jonathan Anakom, Jonathan Anakom op my spanlijst, nummer 13, is oor die lijn. Dit is Vinduk Afis se eerste punte in die wedstrijd. En daar kan jy die ondersteuners ook sien. En ek is doodseker, hulle is uiterst tevrede dat hulle span nou op die telbord is. 10 punte vir Windhoek Gymnasium, nou 5 punte vir Windhoek Afis, en hulle het kans om palen toe te mik, nie een baie moeilike skop hier die nie, die wind wat so uit die noordkooste kom, so hy gaan hier so af van achter die skopper kom, wat hom moeilik juist gaan help, hy moet echter so bykie in die wind inskop na sy linkerkant toe, want as hy na die rechterpaal mik, kan die wind om dalk uitdruk, dis die heel achterdaad. Stad the burger. Tevis burger, Tevis burger nummer 15, drie achter toe. And Ashwin, yes, a very good try, I think, a very good forward play. Yes, yes, certainly they took advantage of the lack of discipline, at least by Vinduk Gymnasium. And one burger scores a try, will the other burger convert? Yes, he will. So, it's a three-point game, Danny. A three-point ja, game. Let's have a look at the replay. Ryan, so this is seven points. Let's see how we get it. First, the right side. From the right side. Second time, also the right side. And then we're going to go to the right side. We're going to go to the right side. And then we're going to drive. Also, one, two, three times. Or there's a... There, there's number 13. Jonathan Hannekom, the right center. Wat druk, ons is terug by die spel En Ashwin It's all now for Wintuk Afrikaans Private School To try and catch up Yes, yes indeed I mean they are much closer now Than they were before We thought that kick was converted But our Stelborg hier op ons skerm Minstens wat nog sê 5 punte 10 oor 10 Dit is Windhoek Afis wat die momentum behoud. Dit is baie sterk op die aanval. Speler waar daar grond toe getrek word. Hulle bring hom toch gauw terug uit. Daar na André Gildenhuis, die skramskakel. Verskoning, Vanus Jurgens, Vanus Jurgens. Met hom weerspeel. Man wat daar tegen hoge spoed inkom. Vier in vlam is Windhoek Afis nou op die stadium. Hulle speel die bal weer in die achterlijn af. 
verdediging uh, hou echter uh, bij met die aanval. Bent ook gymnasium, maar die speler daar in die lucht probeer hou het. Is nummer 16 sien ons daar op die veld vir Wintoek Afie. So dit lyk vir my na uh, Magnus de Toei, nummer 16, voorspeler wat op die veld is. It's a warm day for others. You and I, Danny, it's a little cold in the booth. We're going to allow the spirit of rugby to warm us up today. <laughs> it's a three-point game. Of course, Vinduk Afi is having an opportunity still uh, with Vinduk Gymnasium's players still in the Sinbin. Will they be able to take advantage? They absolutely managed to do that at least within three minutes of the player being Sinbin. Can they take advantage right now? Of course, it's a Vinduk Gymnasium possession. Discipline is needed at the scrums. The referee is going to assert his authority. Talk to the lads. Dis die skuisrechter meneer Nicardo Pinar wat uh, nou sê daar is een bykie aandag nodig vanaf die kantlijn. Mannen waar al lekker sit met hulle bekende bruisdrankies hier in Namibie. Ook die hoofdborg natuurlijk van die Welwitsjaas vandag. Want toe draaft en uh, die man wat so bykie aandag uh, nodig het lyk na een uh, Een beetje bloed wat hij moet afvee daar, telling nou 10-7, tel wat is nou correct, 26 e minuut van hierdie wedstrijd. Nou, as jy wint, sê vir hulle, so bykie kijk, die media loosie is hier hoog boe in die hoofdpaviljoen, en hy noordkooste wijkie waar hy so recht in ons blaie, ons sit nie in een glaskas nie, maar is lekker, buitelig rugby, hier in Windhoek, en dan maar is die hakker van, van Windhoek Afies, wat ook uh, kantlijn toe hard loop daar, is Winslow Olivier, en die mannen wat wacht om weer die scrum te vorm en uh, Ashwin thus far all the, all the power in the scrum belong to Windhoek Gymnasium so I think yes. uh, Windhoek Afis we, we would like to see what, if they can compete better uh, this time around yes certainly they're showing a little more momentum since their first try but Gymnasium seems to have the better hand when it comes to the scrums I don't think it's a strength issue I do think it is a discipline issue it is a tactical issue they seem to be approaching their scrums, which uh, a lot of tact, <laughs> so to speak. All right, we're swinging it. It is out, Vindic Gymnasium. This is a kick into the center. It's out into touch. It looks like it's right back out. This is the van of Windhoek Afis, of course. It's van Wijk, Scrums Kakao of Windhoek Gymnasium, where the ball is put on. It looks like it's right back out. The man who is still the scrum ingooi is hoe bykie draai na die kant toe en wonder ons ouwens wat altyd raak die kyk nou, die reelsan sê dan mens moet reg uit ingooi, maar dis hoe die rugby dees daar werk, daar is die man ook weer terug in beeld, Zanu van Wijk die skramskakel van Wintoek Gymnasium, en nou maak ons reg vir die lijnstaan en is Hendry Skrader wat die bal kan ingooi vir Wintoek Gymnasium, Ashwin Gymnasium has been very good with their lineouts, and this is another stunning lineout. They've got a mall going, good momentum over there. Afi's struggling to consolidate, well, not really consolidate, but to definitely get themselves together to defend this mall. The mall has been stopped, but the ball is out. Vindic Gymnasium swinging it. Oh, good dummy over there. Is there enough support to maintain possession? It's going to be a penalty, Vindic Afi's possession. Nou, terwijl ons wacht om is vir die strafskop om geneem te word, dink daar gegooi op hy lang, lang nummer 8 uh, van Windhoek Gymnasium, dis Janne Brand, Janneman Brand, is kaptein van die Spans, sy pa Janneman Brand, ook een baie bekende rugby speler is, so ek weet nie of ons hom nou junior moet noem nie, maar gebruik hom baie goed in die lijn staan, en nou is dit Windhoek Afies, wat kantlijn toe kan skop, vanaf die strafskop, en weer eens een baie goeie skop, hy is so 10, 12 meter vanaf die doellijn, Ashwin, and so another Great, great chance. Another great, great chance. It's going to be an Afi's line-out. Will they be able to take advantage? They've lost the last three line-outs. Uh, four, actually. And uh, at this point, I'm sure they would have learned from their mistakes. Close to the five-minute line, well within the 22. If it's try time, well, the time is now. Voor je Ben Burger nummer 7 wat ingegooi het by die lijn staan en lyk nou na nummer 16 daar, uh, Magnus de Toei van die uh, reservebank op is en hy wacht so bykie, gooi dan Another pro- probeer, ach- lost. probeer Another achter gooi, lost. maar uh, 
die voorste springers van Winter Gymnasium wat die bal afgeneem het, hulle sit dan ook weer Good recovery Wow, so yes, Danny, Vinduk Af is having very poor lineouts and Vinduk uh, Gymnasium punishing them for each and every one. I think the, the afronding, this is where it goes, uh, those finishing touches, uh, that's the second uh, lineout they had very close to the opposition's try line. Ashwin, and there you have to afrond, you have to make sure, because it's every time five points that you have on the board can sit. En as we nou die roties net, daai uh, buitel uh, kon het al 17-10 gewees het, maar natuurlijk rugby word nie op papier gespeel of in theorie nie, het word op die veld gespeel en daarom is die afronding so belangrijk. En nou toe is daar Vanus Jurgens, skramskakel van Windhoek Afrikaanse privaatskool, hy wil ingooi, maar meneer Ricardo Pinar wat vir die mannen eerst sê, staan recht op kerels. Je moet mooi op je merkje staan. Ik krijg een glimlach daar van uh, Jurgens af. Goeie geest van die wedstrijd gespeeld. Die uh, Ashwin, yes, is het uh, Seems the temperature is well uh, getting a bit hot, but it seems that's gone. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, Vap with the good put in over there, swinging the ball with an opportunity. Good run from the scrum off over there, swinging it over now to the first center. That is a good run by Vap. Does he have support? Not enough. Does not seem to have, well, yes, it is knocked on, but by Gymnasium right now, Vap playing advantage. They are still close enough to the line to make something of this. Hulle bly op die aanval, hulle plaas, hulle opponente onderdruk, hy kom nou na die rechterkant toe. Groot voorspeler daar, oor die bal, oor die skramp het, kom weer gauw, vind ek uit, Jurgens wat ver na rechts aangee, ook nog een stormram wat hulle het daar in die achterlijn. Jurgens wat weer terug is, hy gee die bal daarna aan om een 7 toe, is Ben Berger. Oh, good hand off by Berger there. Af is blij en beheer van die bal met die skuitsrechter wat die vlijk hier geblaas het. Het lyk ook of hy gesprek hier wil voer. Dit is een strafskop wat hy geef vir gymnasium. Couldn't really, as you can see, see the signaling there by the referee for exactly, it seems they held onto the ball too long. Yes. En dit is Windhoek Gymnasium, wat kantlijn toe skop, en verlig die druk so bykie. On your screen right now, Windhoek Gymnasium. Katia, the number three, I had an interesting conversation with him two weeks ago, he was talking about how confident the lads have been feeling in themselves. And this was before the Vinduk High School uh, game, so I'm pretty sure their confidence doubled, which showed because at the beginning of this rugby game, Vinduk Gymnasium did not hesitate to put two tries on the board. It's a Vinduk Gymnasium line-out. Not particularly neat. Berger takes advantage. Good interception over there. Berger had a very good match on the number 7 flank. Hy het die bal daar gesteer vir Windhoek Afies. Hulle drijf om weer voor en toe. En is het Vanus Jurgens, skramskakel wat hom kon uitgee. Hulle het so amper oor die voordeel daar gekom, voordeel lijn gekom. Jurgens weer speel na sy rechterkant toe. Hulle gebruik die voorspelers in die achterlijn. Natuurlijk om hy getalle oorweg te probeer bewerkstellig. So dat die achterspelers weer dan om die kante kan aanval en probeer om een gaping te slaan. Kort, kort drijfbewegings, en nou dier Windhoek Afies. Daar is aan my ton, nummer drie voor hy. Afies running their phases, playing very disciplined rugby right now, keeping it with the forwards. Could see us stopping that run immediately. Hy duikslag wat so'n bykie hoog en om die nek gelijk het. Die strafskop word echter gegeef vir onkant dier meneer Nicardo Pinar. Hy is terug by Windhoek Afies en as you will now, I mean, he can either now go for the corner again, it seems that's exactly what he's doing and they're exactly back where they were at least two times before. At least two times, look, I guess they're hoping that, let's say, fifth time is a charm. They have not been having particularly good line-outs, Afis. And like I said, they've been punished for each and every time that they haven't been able to keep it going. One of our players. In Afrikaans het ons een uitdrukking, Ashwin, wat sê, derde keer is skeepsrecht. 
so hierdie is nou die derde keer minstens, so uh, ons uh, hoopelik kan hulle hierdie keer beter afrond uit die lijst staan. Yes, uh, it seems like uh, the put-in now is not going to be done by Burger. They've changed. Who's yeah. throwing in at the line-out. And another lost line-out. I do not believe their coach is going to have kind words with them with regards to their approaches to line-out. Little hesitation over there to get the ball running. Not enough support for him. And it is a Vindic Gymnasium possession. Kicking it out. On the full also rechtstreeks uitgeskop. So far. Ek dit gelees het, maar die skuitsrechter het die strafskop toegekend. En weer ek, so derde keer was toen nie skeepsrecht in die geval nie. Dit is weer die bal wat in die lijn staan verloor is, daar op die doellijn van Windhoek Gymnasium, dier die aanvallers, Windhoek Affies, met ver gebied ingeboet. Nou kom die skop van die strafskop af, so daar by die kwartlijn van Windhoek Affies, waar die bal uitgejaag word. It seems like they're playing 40 minute halves, you know. Previously they played 35 minute halves, uh, so it's uh, getting the lads prepared for the professional world. It is a Vinduk Gymnasium put in another successful lineup. They can be proud of that, but that looks like it was a knock on Vinduk Afi's possession. It's probably All right, half time. time. Yeah, yes, it's half time. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's half time. Yeah, kijk na die office economics wel wildtijds uitdaging, halftijd telling hier Windhoek Gymnasium 10, Windhoek Afrikaanse Windhoek Afrikaanse privaatskool 7 en ons is nou nou terug by jou met die tweede jaafte van die reactie So halftime of course one thing that Windhoek Afrikaanse privaatskool will be lamenting is those lineouts, we counted at least 6, most of those being their own position being lost to Vindic Gymnasium, Vindic Gymnasium obviously taking advantage of that fact. Gymnasium showing a little lack of discipline. The players were all a little chippy at the beginning of the game. One of their players got sin binned. Fortunately, they only allowed one try to go through. It is a three-point game right here on NTV at the Goodwill Challenge. Vindic Afrikaans Prefar School versus Vindic Gymnasium. Beautiful rugby in a beautiful city. Get in! Who scored? <laughs> I did. Sports fans know whether you bet a little or a lot with PST Bet, you're not just watching, you're playing. Yes! Who won? <laughs> Me! And with over 1 million paid out to winners each month, your life can get very interesting. So kick things off by going to PSDBet.com. And if you don't get your winnings within one business day, we'll double it. Why watch when you can play at pstbet.com. TV and right now it is the Goodwill Challenge starting off with the under 19 game of course before we had the little kiddies playing some fantastic rugby of their own. Vindic Gymnasium coach right now talking to the team that an interesting first half like we said one of their players got sin binned which is not an ideal situation. Let's have a look at the highlights. Of course the boys came in with a lot of confidence. Good support across the entire stadium for both schools. The war cries are going on and on and on. The support is immense. For rugby, it is a beautiful rugby day. So, it's Vinduk, High, Vinduk Gymnasium and Vinduk Afrikaans Prefar School. Right now we're at halftime. We're just looking 
at the first couple of potent plays. Look at this beautiful mall. This was the first try from Vindic Gymnasium. They rolled that small. Afrikaans Pifar School does not have an answer. And of course, when you don't have an answer, someone must still mark. And what was marked was five points on the board. We bring you now the hoogte punten van the first half to here from the office economics. Well, willendheid's uitdaging op the AG Gankop Stadium. And that was Visagi. JV Visagi mis geweest met zijn eerste verdoelskop. Hier is die tweede drie wat gedruk is door Windhoek Gymnasium. Baie mooie achterlijn beweging vinnig langs die kantlijn af toe, binnen toe. En dan is er die man daar wat afrond. Die nummer 12 trein. En hier weer versagie. Wat palen toegeskop het weer en hier kom Windhoek Afrikaanse privaatskool sy eerste drie uit die drijfbeweging kort voor die doelijn, na by die doelijn eerst links gedrijf toe, rechts gedrijf en dan is het die buitencenter Dat was eigenlijk de nummer 13 daar kon worden Yes, het was Tienis van Wijk, hij is also de captain of the team en Erik Doelskop wat succesvol oor was Dit is die 7 punte wat Windhoek Afrikaanse privaatskool aangeteken het In die eerste helfte Second half is here It's Windhoek Afrikaanse school Privaatskool Kicking the ball to Windhoek Gymnasium Will the second half be any different? It's a 3 point game at the Goodwill Challenge And they're off Ons is terug by die aksie, so halfpad tussen vlak en diep geskop dier die manne van Gymnasium. Ons camera is nou terug daar by die spel Zanu van Wijk, skramskakel van Windhoek Gymnasium. Oor die lijn is daar met die bal, toch Windhoek Gymnasium wat kan ingooi by hierdie lijn staan. So it's going to be a vap put in. Vap swinging the ball. Everyone's still adjusting, taking in the coach's notes, trying to see how to implement them in the second half and affect the score in a positive manner for their own team right now. Vap maintaining the possession. Ref says play on. I see nothing to worry about over there. Good drive by Vap over there. Johan Not Mutonga. enough support, we're going to come back. It is a penalty. Johan Muton, the great number three there from Wittuk Afis, who has been driven forward. But Mr. Nicardo Pinar, the Skyser Echter, who has first the spell stopped. He looks like Amper or his arm first in the tien oor gestelde richting gewees het. But he is going to be a bit of a... Hij gaat niet gezels met zijn assistent niet. Hij zei dat was onkant geweest. Die bal blij bij Wintuk Afis. Dus kom als medical center one construction. Wintuk Afrikaanse privaatschool. En hulle het besluit hulle wil skram. En Ashwin, it's actually quite an interesting decision. They've been under pressure in the scrums, but they choose to scrum now. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Uh, I think they, they're going to play with a little more <laughs> composer right now. They're definitely not rushing into any lineouts. Um, they weren't successful, in fact. Fanus Jurgens, what he scrum for, and then Wille om so achter op tel, maar hulle verloor die bal dan in a strafskop. Nie die teken gesien daar van die skuitsrechter, wat die rede is nie. Maar as Windhoek Gymnasium, wat nou die bal het, hulle kan hem weer kantlijn toe jaag, om gebiedsvoordeel te wen maak seker van hom so op die 10-3 is stippelijn in die halfte van Windhoek skoning van Windhoek Afies waar hy nou uitgeskop is en as van die reserves sien hulle sit in top daar en wonder gaan ek speelkans kry vandag gaan ek kan opgaan wel wat gevoer word in die lijn staan in goeie druk toegepas dier die verdedigende span in die beweging, maar Windhoek Gymnasium wat toch de Alzano van Wijk skramskakel, wat die bal in die achterlijn kan afvoer. Powerful challenge there. 
powerful challenge there. Vindic Gymnasium with the ball. Nice little chip over there, but a scrum off. Not enough to get into the winger's hands. Only play when the referee whistles. Only stop play when the referee whistles. Very important to keep in mind right here. As the gentlemen try and swing the score their way. It's a bit of butter fingers here. They are going to affix here and have the kant line. So this could be scrum to the king. The ball is toch dan ook uitgespat. Natuurlijk, the first fout is weer Zanu van Wijk, number 9 van Skoemans Groep, Bintuk Gymnasium. What can nader staan om the ball in scrum in te gooi. But the uh, gymnasium, but by a good for two in scrums this far in the Erie wedstrijd. For the boot to in the scrums, there we see it weer a very strong scrum, but toch druk wat vinnig in kom, maar die scheidsrechter zijn arm uit. Hij gaan sê dit is uh, aanslaan. Dit is sy besluit daar. So ek het amper gedink hy gaan sê die losvoorspelers van Afis was onkant gewees. Maar hy sê die skramskakel, daar nou van Wijk wat aangeslaan het. Daar onder die druk van die losvoorspelers wat vinnig rondom die uh, skram gekom het. En nou is het met ander woorde een gooi kans vir Wintoek Afis. And that is Krams Kakel Fanes Jurgens. All right, it is an Afis Putin. Referee is going to stop the scrum. Have some words with the forwards. They are collapsing the scrum, which is obviously not ideal. Discipline is essential. I keep saying that. But of course, rugby games are not just won by strength. It is discipline. It is tact. It is team work, chemistry, everything and everything in between. Fanus Jurgens right now about to do the Putin for VAP. All right. Oh, good handoff over there by Heldenhuis. As VAP tries to get some momentum right now, Gymnasium uh, making sure that they are showing strong defense. VAP swinging the ball. Swinging the ball still is still a VAP possession. They haven't gained more than five to ten meters off of this possession, and unfortunately, they've lost it with a knock on. Referee is going to play advantage. Gymnasium with the ball still. That was an awkward landing. This is our scrum off okay there from Vinduk Gymnasium. This is Zeno Van Veek okay? That was an interesting uh, challenge, strong challenge, awkward landing. Meneer Ricardo Pinar, wat uh, wel die spel gestoppen daar. Hij gaan gesels nou met uh, meneer Dani Koen hier langs de kantlijn. Zo, hij houdt bij die kajuit raad. En ga ik zo aan die voet gevangen, maar het lijkt niet of het het doel was. Een poging was om die speler in die grond in te drukken. Zoals Ashwin nou gezet, hij eindelijk maar net een uh, beetje gevaarlijk geland. En na hij aan die voet beet gekregen is. Maar is meneer Pinar wat toch gesels met die spelers van Wintuk Afis en hij blij ook bij zijn besluit voor die strafskop. Gymnasiumskop dus uh, kantlijn toe. Good kick into touch. Just uh, close to 10 meters off there. Obviously, Vinduk Gymnasium way more confident in their lineouts than Vinduk Afrikaans before school right now. If I was up, I would be consolidating my defense and making sure that there's no way these boys get through. Of course, if you can get the ball in the lineout from the throw, the better. But it's a tricky lineout over there. Oh, interesting. Very good lineout plays by Vinduk Gymnasium. Can't quite get the mall moving right now. The mall is wheeling. Oh, it's moving again. All right, some momentum coming from Vindic Gymnasium. Pushing the mall, keeping the mall. The ball is coming to the ground at this point in time. Will the scrum off get it out in good time? Let's see. All right, fantastic. Inside the five meter line right now. You know that try line fever, it starts to kick in. Vindic Gymnasium, an opportunity to extend their lead from just three points. All right, number two over there, close. Oh, he might be out. He certainly is out. Tjaker, Hendry Skrader, wat uitgeduik is, net voor die doellijn. Baie effectief weer vir Janneman Brand, nummer 8, 8e man in die lijn staan, gebruik daar. Maar 
gymnasie wat speel met hulle achterspelers hoofdzakelijk is Anu van Wijk A in nummer 9 wat wacht vir die bal om uit te kom en dan gaan hy om naar sy linkerkant toe voer in die lijn af wel blij by Wintoek Gymnasium is weer van Wijk goeie aangee goeie vertoning eindelijk dier Zanu van Wijk so ver in die wedstrijd is die nummer 7 flank wat dan die bal in die handen kry maar die skuitsrechter sê die bal is voor en toe gespeel blijkbaar daar die nummer 7 flank van Wintoek Gymnasium is Roan Achenbach Yes, as we continue with yet another scrum, I wouldn't call this a deadlock, but the score certainly has not changed in the last 15 minutes. Close to 20 minutes to go of the second half, Vinduk Afrikaans Prefar School versus Vinduk Gymnasium. It's a good time to score a try. It's a good time to perhaps try and score two to keep uh, the lead, uh, I don't know, enough distance from the other opponent right now. Feels like they evenly matched, but it feels like Gymnasium gets to convert and play more of its rugby than Vindic Afrikaans Pifasco has managed to. Telbord say, as we excuse, Telbord say, Tien Sieve is nog enige iemand se wedstrijd. It was Jurgens wat haar ingegooi het, maar die skram wat eindelijk nog eerst werkelijk aan die beweeg was nie, en toe stoot Wintoek Gymnasium voor en toe. So hulle kom terug, hulle het weer eens skram verloor hier so, is nou die oponente, Zanu van Wijk, die skramskakel van Windhoek Gymnasium, wat die bal in hand het, sy voorheimanne wat recht maak om daar te sak, Herman Koetsie is die nummer 3, wat jy so pas daar op die skerm gesien het. It's definitely the place to be with regards to Windhoek right now, the city looks gorgeous, I would say most of the city is here. <laughs> we love rugby in Namibia. We absolutely do. So it's a gymnasium put in right now. They're 10-7 above Vindok Afrikaans Prefar School. Will they be able to make this game officially unreachable for VAP? Let's see. Ball swinging out of the scrum very beautifully over there. Gymnasium, of course, not trying to lose position at this point in time. VAP keeping their eyes open. Drop kick. That does not go through. We're going to come back. 22 meter kick. Windhoek Afrikaans before school possession. Maar baie in te mooi afwisseling, denk ek. Interessant daar om wel te kyk of jy die drop kick, soos hy in Engels bekend staan. Skip Skoppie daar kon oorgekry het. So hulle kan vanaf hulle 10 meter lijn in Skop. Windhoek Afies en Windhoek Afies sal binnen die halfgebied van Windhoek Gymnasium wil kom om hulle achterstand te probeer uitwis op die telbord en in die geval is hy direct uitgeskop so dankzij een fout van die opponente wat hulle toch een bykie gebiedsvoordeel nou kry Alright, so Hy was nou op skerm een van die manne Hoos hier van Windhoek Afies En mys kan sien, hy Sê ook manne, ons kan beter doen Ons moet begin opskut hier Om terug in die wedstrijd te kom En Ashwin, the guys are heading towards The line stand We've line stand, line out We've seen many line outs in this match Many line outs and most of them Being lost by VAP Even if it's their own possession so right now, Gymnasium swinging. Wow, good run over there. Is there enough support to keep the ball? Yes, it is. Zeno Van Fake running to it. That might have been a knock on over there. Referee keeps his hands down. Nothing has been said, but the referee play continues. It is a, a VAP penalty. Now, VAP, of course, uh, confidence-wise, I don't know how confident they are in lineouts, Danny. They've lost about seven, eight lineouts in a row. That is not good for any rugby game, especially when you have a team that's been taking advantage of your mistakes, the way Vindic Gymnasium has been taking the game to VAP. But VAP continues, kicking the ball into touch. Perhaps this is the line-out that will uh, materialize into a try. Who knows? Yeah, that is number 12, what we all can't line to get scoped. Ashwin, I must say with your stem, that betekent, you must then a bit of a whistle. 
as jy nie recht kom met jou uh, lijn staan nie, kan jy natuurlijk, maar die, hulle probleem is ook, hulle sikkel in die skrams ook, so hulle kan ook nie eindelijk van die skrams speel nie, die ander ding is natuurlijk dat jy kan tik en hard loop, dis jou derde keese, but that is risky a lot of times to, to tap and go. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. So set phases, uh, sometimes... Another lost line out. Okay, good. Vap manages to recover possession over there. Hoping to make the most of this one. Of course, getting some grace from an otherwise poor put in from the line out. Hierdie is een facet waar hulle goed gevaar het, dis ook hoe hulle enigste drie in die wedstrijd gedruk het, was met uh, drijfbewegings uh, rondom die, uh, vanuit die losmaalbeweging, elke keer gedruif links, rechts, links, rechts, afgewissel en toe gedruk in die wedstrijd, hulle eerste drie, hierdie keer gaan het nie werk nie, maar hulle behoud toch die voordeel, was hulle aanslaan in die lijn staan geweest door Windhoek Gymnasium, En uh, natuurlijk, if you, uh, as well, if you are under pressure in the scrum, it's important to get it in quickly and play as quickly as possible uh, yes. from the back. And this is why, you know, team chemistry and staying present in the game is important because every player needs to be aware that at any point in time, the scrum off will want to get the ball in their hands. Right Farnes now. Jurgens, yeah, Farnes Jurgens, uh, skies Ashwin, where he took up his players' uh, rug and then the ball in. Hy het nie vinnig genoeg uitgekom nie, maar daar is hy toch, so Jurgens kan hom speel na, ek denk sy loskakel daar, André Sieker. Good run by Afis. Oh, unfortunately knocking the ball odd over there, and they may have had an overlap, we're going to come back for a scrum. It is a Vindic Gymnasium possession. Beautiful spectators here for the sport of rugby, young and old former players and uh, just people who love this beautiful sport. So it's going to be a scrum. Zeno van Veek putting it in for Vindok Gymnasium. Trying to see if they can uh, clear the pressure from the 22 line. Vap has been knocking on their door for what they may consider long enough. Are they going to kick it out? Are they going to run it? What does Zeno decide? Swings it. Weer van Wijk by die bal, hy gee hom weer terug na achter toe, beter skopkans hierdie uh, keer vir sy spelers. Bal wat ver uh, op, op die veld, die achterspelers van Windhoek Afies wat kan kom moet die teen aanval. Hulle sal nou moet uh, probeer om balbesit te behou. Die tyd wat in hierdie wedstrijd uh, stadig maar seker bezig is om uit te loop. En is Windhoek Gymnasium wat terug op die aanval daar is, Zanu van Wijk. Nummer 9, die skamskakel. Goeie wedstrijd, maar ek uh, is natuurlijk het hy meer speelkans gehad as hy opponent aan die windhoek afwees kan. Uh, Van is Jurgens. Wat, uh, wanneer hy die bal gaat, het ook goed gespeel het. Die skuitsrechter wat weer een spel stop op die stadium. Die man wat daar lee op die veld blijf soos Herman Koetsee. Nummer 3, Die vastkoop voorrij van Windhoek Gymnasium. Look at the gymnasium reserves. Of course, they're hoping to get a shot in. Uh, into playing this game. We still have just under 20 minutes to go. It is going to be a VAP scrum after that player just receives some attention. Lots happening here at the Goodwill Challenge. There's food to be had, family time to be had. <laughs> Amper een pak uh, stampvol hoofdpaviljoen. Hier so een met mense wat op die oopaviljoene sit, so, so hier en daar om die sonniekie te vang. So as jy in windhoek is, uh, jy kan gerust een draai kom maak. Ek sal voorstel, jy bring echter een baaikie ook saam vir die, vir die ouwe wenkie. Hy is so een van skoelers, uh, koelerig uit die noordooste. Ons gaan terug, ons terug by die spel, daar so die skram wat gevoer is dier uh, windhoek afies bal wat dan uitgehaald word en weer aangegeer word na die skramskakel en dan is hier goeie 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 run over there by Nico Trump good, good, good run by Nico over there stunning very confident run the players getting a little chippy they do have to maintain their discipline but that was a good encouraging run by Nico you can tell he just injected some new spirit into VAP 
they may feel like they can close this three points gap. Nog een toneel hier vanaf die hoofdpaviljoen vir daar, scholieren van uh, Wintoek Afrikaanse privaatschool. En hulle is nog bang vast achter hulle span. Wintoek Afis loop uh, achter met drie punten op die stadium. Dit is die 53ste minuut van die wedstrijd. Skole wedstrijd, so speel 70 minuten. Dit beteken als nog so 17 minuten oor in die krachtmeting. Mensen is in die tweede helft nog niet bij een tijd wat verloren gegaan het nie. Wel so amper twee minuten in die eerste helft is een beseringstijd en ander tijd wat verloren gegaan het. Al wees ons weer vir jou die selle skoot. Jy kyk uh, netwerk TV rechtstreeks op DSTV of GoTV in Namibie of natuurlijk dalk op Facebook of op One of Two op die internet dal wat in die achterlijn afgegeer word en dan gaan hy voor en toe maar as eerst onkant sê meneer Nicardo Pina, die scheidsrechter so hy straf wint ook af is van onkant That's when it seems if I look at that uh, man it's not just us that's a bit cold. <laughs> no, it's not just us. It's the entire field, of course. We are a little further from the sun than everybody else, but definitely close enough to observe this beautiful game of rugby. Seems like we've had a bit of a deadlock. This has been the score from the first half, which to me sometimes reflects that the coach has said some potent things. You know what I mean? It means no one's allowing momentum to shift. I guess they're plugging their holes. We haven't seen better lineups from the Africa Africans before school right now. And uh, we get to figure out their significant strength, but uh, it's still a lot of rugby to be played. Still a lot of rugby to be played. Gymnasium, another successful lineout, swinging the ball beautifully. Hulle achterlijn wat dikwels gevaarlik lyk as hulle die bal kry, maar hierdie keer uh, skop hulle wel uh, vir die lijn. Probeer uh, wind ook af wie ze onder druk sit, maar hulle is daar, hy die bal in hand en dan word hy onderskip. Deer wind ook gymnasium, gelijk soos die nummer 9, maar sal nou kyk as hy opstaan, hier is die nummer 6 flank, die Dirk Kenissen. Wonderful interception. Um, he may have been offside there. Uh, Vap with an opportunity to uh, kick the ball into touch. They will not do that. Oh, they're going to keep the ball in field. I'm not going to say that means they've lost confidence in their lineouts, but perhaps it will work better for them. Fun fake with the ball, swinging the ball down. Oh, beautiful sidestep over there. Of course, he was caught and clipped in his ways. Fun fake playing a very vibrant game. Tien is Hannekom, hy was die uh, buitencenter wat, uh, geskies binnencenter wat geskop het. So Wintoek af is daar en die bal te ver voor sy eie aanval is gewees. Wintoek gymnasium het om afgeneem en hy bly nog steeds in besit van die bal. Probeer voor en toe drijf daar, maar hy bly so'n bykie recht op. Het bly, bly toch in besit van die bal. Zanu van Wijk, skram skakel, waar dan die bal achter toe aangeer, meneer Nicardo. Late tackle there. That was Pinar a... het reed sy flykie geblaas. Again, discipline is essential. That was such an obvious late tackle. On Zeno van Fake. Winnick Gymnasium, much more confidence kicking the ball into touch. They've won at least eight lineouts in a row. All I know is that on Monday, the VAP boys are probably going to be doing lineouts all day for training. There's no way the coach allows them to get away with this. But again, still a lot of rugby to be played. You may have weak points, and sometimes your strong points are strong enough to allow you to take over. Ten weer beke, so was die buiten center, wat hy uh, lijnskoop waargeneem het, goeie afstand gewen, hulle probeer weer vir Janne van Brand, die lang achtste man kry, maar hierdie keer uh, wat een speler van Wintoek af is, voor die aanval is by die bal uitkom, hulle Wintoek uh, gymnasium wat toch die bal besit, wou, hulle gooi een paie lang en ver in die achterlijn af, Spatie daar die linkerkant die my uh, aangeer wat daar voor die man daar op die kantlijn was. Belovende beweging, maar het lever niks op nie. Daar is het toneel uh, vanaf een van die ooppaviljoene. Yes, dit is, is hier op die uh, ver rechterkant of 
linkere kant als die veldse kant, kijk. So, lots to eat, yeah? Yes, also yes. Also, lot to... Uh, or something to drink. Obviously, you shouldn't drink too much. <laughs> Palla aan die oorkant is meneer de koker. Romario de koker, assistentskuisrechter, wat sy vlag om hoog hou, wat hulle nou omgeruil. Ja, is uh, de koker. En is wind ook afies, weer een lijn staan. Hulle was glad nie baie succesvol in die lijn staan, het is ver nie. Hulle gooi ook afies, with yet another messy line out. But once again, managing to recover possession. He looks like he's appealing to the referee. A little bit of stagnant motion over there. But of course, you keep playing until you hear the whistle. The whistle hasn't gone. It is an Afi's possession. Will they be able to make something of this? Three points to catch up to Vinduk Gymnasium. Seriously, Danny, I, I, I don't think lineups should go this badly, this consistently. I don't think so. It's actually with the luck that Vinduk Afi's that ball well behoudt. He's before and to sprung from one of the Vinduk Gymnasium players. Now, he's going to go to the back line. Toe. Maar hart zoek zo bikkie skyns na en ook achter toe geen uh, nog nie na by die voordeel lyn nie. Speler wat goed doen daar om die aanvallers van sy lyf af te hou. Dan word hy links af in die lyn gespeel. Ons kan as hierdie man is wat kan breek toch goed aangeval, goed groen daar deel uh, die linker vleel. Daar is Tristan Olivier, hy is die nummer 11 van Windhoek Affies. And plays uh, sort of kit is starting to, to be stop start stop start now. Bewegings wat nie heeltemaal afgerond word nie. Ek een worstbrook is, uh, ja so, ek sien is een paar mense met hulle blauw bulle trui aan natuurlijk vanmiddag om vier uur. Ook rechtstreeks op netwerk TV. Waar jy kan inskakel en op alles ander platforms. Die wind ook draaf die alwietjas teen... Uh, ek nodig een span van die woude kom, blauw bulle, alles deel van die office economics, wel willendheids uitdaging. En ons wacht nog vir uh, die spel om weer aan die gang te kom, hy is terug by Windhoek Afies. En hy kicking again. Sien daar die nummer 5 slot, Driekes Peersen van uh, Windhoek Afies, wat ook riskans nou gekry het. En vervang is. Yet another line out, so yet another test for Wintuk Afis and they have uh, as hulle die, die ingooiers afgewissel. Hulle het begin by die nummer 7, Ben Burger wat ingegooi het, toe die nummer 16 wat op die veld gekom het, Magnus de Tooi. Yes indeed, uh, will Afis be successful in this line out? They will not and it is a Wintuk Gymnasium run right now. Good run over there from Wintuk Gymnasium's number 2, Shrada. Daai man se punt van sy stewel wat so net net uh, grond gevat het buiten die veld. Dis kom meneer uh, Dani Koen as ek reg is daar so sê. Af is possibly having a record number of poor lineouts and once again Vindic Gymnasium making sure they punish him. The last time Af had two poor lineouts somehow the ball ended up in their hands. But right now not going particularly well for them as we have just under 10 minutes until the end of this game. All right, referee just having a conversation over there. Small concussion, Ben Berger, but it seems to be okay. It's jammer daar, heel tyd lyk my net ek die man verkeer daar. Magnus, nie Magnus de Toe nie, lyk wat die spanlei Jean, uh, Jean-Luca Salvadelli. Verskoning, groot verskoning vir daar enekie. Maar hy is ingegooi en <laughs> weer eens is hy aan die kant van Windhoek Gymnasium Meneer Pienaar wat echter weer op die vleikie blaas Is een strafskop vir Windhoek Gymnasium Yes, uh, referee tried to play advantage over there It is going to be a Windhoek Gymnasium uh, Possession They are not afraid to kick certainly But uh William Klaassen is die nummer 22 hier op my spandlijst vir Windhoek Gymnasium wat gaan aan naar Palen toe met die strafskop. So hulle wil drie punte bijvoeg natuurlijk as hulle dit nou 13-7 maak, rek hulle die oorsprong, uh, voorsprong so klein bykie verder. Nie een goeie skop nie, hy die, die richting of die afstand gehad nie, is Windhoek Afies wat kom met die teenaanval. 
van een stevige man wat af voor en toe hard loopt met die bal naar de grond toe gaan. Oké, okay, knock on. Het is een Vindhoek Gymnasium bal. Uh, that kick nowhere near successful, but fortunately the possession ends up in their hands once again. Referee having a chat with the captain over there. It is a Vindic Gymnasium possession. Are they going to be able to take this ball and uh, take the game in turn completely? out of Vap's hands just outside the 22 meter line Zeno van Fake looking at his forwards giving them some words before he puts the ball in of course the referee needing to stop the scrum there ladies rugby I know earlier I said it's a gentleman's sport how very wrong of me gentlemen and ladies sport I would just like to say it's a sport for well-mannered people that's what I should say <laughs> ja ook vrouwe rugby wat ons voor die hoofdwedstrijd het vandag daar ene wat ons nie op netwerk TV gaan uitsaai nie is Wintook uh, Gymnasium wat op die aanval is bal wat voor en toe spat Wintook Afies wat om afgeneem het man speel daarna wat die meeste van sy spelers in die rij staan op, en vir die bal wacht en het drijf om voor en toe Grave daar, diep van as Jurgens, die skramskakel vir die bal, man waar daar hoog beet gekry word, hulle hou om boe het gelijk of hy soveel opglip na die nek toe dus kom die skuitsrechter vat hier na sy sak toe en daar kom die geelkaart Sinbin that is unfortunately Janneman, no that's Kutsia Herman Kutsia has been given a yellow card, he's gone to the Sinbin the last time that Vindok Gymnasium lost a player, Vindok Afrikaans Prefar School managed to get a try in. So, uh, Kutsia, normally a, quite a gentleman, I definitely had a chat with him two weeks ago, like I said earlier, Danny. Uh, but I think over there, perhaps the emotions of the moment may have gotten the best of them. And uh, Gymnasium now has to play a much more careful game while trying to take the game out of Vaps. Uh, hands. I don't know, Danny, what would you do as a coach? Would you say we defend the rest of the game, we try to make sure we don't lose anything, there's still three points? I would say, make sure of the defending, but use also your chances on the attack. We can clearly see Captain Janneman Brandt, who was not glad to be with that yellow card. And as Ashwin said, the last time, they had one player more on the field. They had also put a point on the field. The ball was on the line, but they had a sprint here to in die gymnasium sy kant toe sien nummer 12 center wat goed voor hem toe beer met die bal Zanu van Wijk skramskakel wat om na sy rechterkant toe speel eerst by die buiten center Vindok Afis is an opportunity to take the game running with the ball right now this is the captain Van Fake and it is a try Vindok Afrikaans before school scoring just 5 minutes prior to the end of this game of course taking the lead immediately the momentum has shifted this means that for both of the times that Vindic Gymnasium lost a player Vindic Afrikaans Pufasku said thank you try time Dennis van Wijka the captain and he has span vierkantig terug in the wedstrijd geplaatst and neem nou the photo with 12 points to 10 over 10 and he can nog two bijvoeg. And it's almost like getting out of jail, I think. <laughs> yes. They were under a lot of pressure, but yes, when yes. it really mattered, uh, to that rechter zag maar kon hulle afrond. En as die heel achter, uh, daar so Jonathan, uh, skies neer, Tevis Burger, Tevis Burger. But, Gauskop, afstorm, help me. Hulle het 2 punte bijgevoeg, by daar die 5, 14 punte. And Ashwin, they are in the lead. Absolutely, they are in the lead after this beautiful interception right here. It was stunning. Good thinking over there. Captain leading from the front. The pace, there was just no catching him. All he wanted to do now was make sure that the conversion is going to be easy. And the conversion after that was good. 14 points for Vindic Afrikaans before school. 10 for Vindic Gymnasium. 
not much rugby to play but certainly enough time for something significant to happen we do know that Vinduk Gymnasium has had the much stronger lineouts Vinduk Africa Grand Prix Fast School losing at least seven lineouts in a row so this is their weak point but on the other end Gymnasium is one player down Less than three minutes to play. Man, that's three minutes. So, so as Ashford has said, so that's not the snack of the wedstrijd. So, when the gymnasium will now be sure to make that the momentum can get and a weer punten can op the tailboard get 14-10. So, three will be enough. But they have to three. Uh, Strafskop is not going to be able to win the stadium. They will not be able to win the stadium. They will not be able to win the stadium. Is die skramskakel, daar is Anouk van Wijk wat met die bal betrap word, so vind ook af iets wat soos tieren verdedig op die stadium. You know, some people say that this is when all the rugby is played, when it's always just one try away from anybody's victory. That is a Vinduk Gymnasium penalty. Naturally, they're not going to kick, because that does nothing for them. They're just going to kick it out to touch and allow themselves to focus on what has been their strength and Vinduk Afrikaans Fifar School's weakness, the lineout. Ons het tenminste in hierdie hoekie van die veld al, as ek nou moet probeer onthou, vier of vijf lijnstaande gesien en is nog nie een keer uit hierdie hoekie drie gedruk uit die lijnstaande uit nie. Good throw. They're going to try and run a ball. Is this mall going to be as effective as the first mall that allowed them to score a try? Vinduk Gymnasium going over the line right now. Can they bring the ball down? Can they bring the ball down? It is a try! Vinduk Gymnasium takes the lead in the very last minute. Speler wat daar geluk gewens word dier sy spanmaats, man met die skrampie daar op. Ek kan nie sy nommer sien nie, as wil ek weet nie of jy weet wie die speler is nie. Maar, ja, hulle was vir een oomlik in die wedstrijd, was hulle achter op die telwoord en hulle plaas hulle self weer terug. En jy kan sien, dit beteken vir hulle ondersteuners, baie. Die man wat die drie gedruk het ook daar wat die besering opgedoen het in die proces, hy hink een punk so'n bykie. Is die Skoemans groep Wintoek Gymnasium span terug in die voortouw hier in die doodsnikke van die skole rugby daby in Wintoek en Wintoek afwees sal voel dat die wind so'n bykie uit hulle seile uitgeneem is and that is the game would you believe that look at our replay once again they ended the game how they started the game, Danny. Line out, mall, try time. Vindic Gymnasium, one point. Wow, this has got to be heartbreaking. But like we said, it is a gentleman's sport. You have the players shaking each other's hands, congratulating each other on the good game, particularly the last five minutes were intense. In five minutes, we had two tries, Danny. This is why I love this sport. This is why I love rugby. Anything can happen. Die grootste deel van die eerste helft en tweede helft, ek skies aanvankelijk baie stil, mag boe aksie hier in die doodsnikke van die wedstrijd. Het is Wintoek Gymnasium se span wat hier met een punt wen. So baie skrale oorwinning, mooi geest daar op die veld, die manne wat bladskut met mekaar. Onthou, ons gaan na die wedstrijd en ook na ons op die veld moendlik onderhoude gevoer het, gaan ons eerst op netwerk TV oorskakel al die pad na Stampri toe. En dit is waar El Nathan as deel van hulle dertigste verjaarsdag vieringe, groot sportdag het, tegen besoekers. En die rugby wedstrijd wat ons veel gaan uitsaai is die thuis van El Nathan tegen Tumep Gymnasium. Die manne en wat nou van die veld af gaan stap om plek te maak vir die volgende wedstrijd. Ons gaan jou, ons gaan nou nou met jou terugwees, moet nergens heen gaan nie, blij en geskakel. If there is space, there can be focus. And if there is focus, the mind can be clear, the mind can be open. In the vast openness of Namibia, a jewel shines bright. A space to fill your mind with progressive thought and a space for your brain to breathe. It's a place where the inquisitive thrive and the passionate pursue, where you can realize things you thought you could only dream of. This place is the University of Namibia, offering you endless opportunities for endless possibilities.
Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neo Paints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neo Paints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. All right, we are here with uh, the captain of the Wendelk African Private School, Tienus van Wijk, uh, with the ball in his hand, uh, aangewees as a player of the Westerheid. Uh, very happy, uh, Tienus. A uh, good game, gehad, personally. I think you had a good opportunity to deliver. How do you feel about your game? Yeah, it was a very hard game, but we had to be able to win. We had to come out with everything that we had. Unfortunately, we had to end with a good game, but I am very happy to be my players. We had to be very hard. Gewees. The first man had a very good so I hope that Rudy had a very good job. He had a very Ben had a hard in the kop But over the algeheel, very happy to be man who was here week for Okay, yeah, so rest uh, was a 10-7. The um, gymnasium had 2-3 had 1-3 had had um, ja, Wat was your rest tijd? Wat was your gedag since rest tijd We had to know that we physically had to be had to be dominant on the racks and so on. We had to be in the work. Maar ons racks het ons gedomineer, as die bal gehad het, het is ook gevaarlik gelijk. Dit was alles net klein foukies wat ons gemaakt het en dan, um, hoe kan ek nou sê, Frats 3 wat ons afgestaan het. Oké, okay, so hoe voel jy oor jylle, jylle aanslag op die liga en so, jylle is ons nou die laaste span wat die liga gewen het. Um, hoe voel jy oor jylle, jylle span wat jylle by mekaar het? Ons het rarige uitstekende span. Ons ons rarig soos vandag net saamtrek en hard speel en elke keer net sy commitment gee, dan is ek seker, ons kan een goeie gaan staan om in die finale te kom en selfs weer die beker reis te vaak. As hy, dankie, dankie Tienus, vir jou boek. Goed, hoor. Goed, hoor. Goed, hoor. We are making things a little less stressful just for you. Sports fans are in luck because we are now introducing the new cash out option which allows you to withdraw a guaranteed amount of money in exchange for closing your bet before it is settled. On a winning streak and want to walk away before your life changes, it is now possible simply at the click of a button. Calm your nerves, secure a win or limit a loss like never before. Withdraw your winnings early for a small fee to avoid disappointment. See with us, winning has just become so much easier. It's going to spin out to Mahrez now, and it's tucked home! Get in! Who scored? <laughs> I did! Sports fans know, whether you bet a little or a lot with PST Bet, you're not just watching, you're playing! Yes! Who won? <laughs> Me! And with over 1 million paid out to winners each month, your life can get very interesting. So kick things off by going to PSDBet.com. And if you don't get your winnings within one business day, we'll double it. Why watch when you can play at PSTBet.com. drive this car around is a standing bed. I fill up my car for 850 which this that gave me a full tank. I used to use this car uh, between the robot and, and window. 
Yeah, once you reach home in Rebot, it's almost a half day. It's from Windhoek to Katmas. That is the longest I have driven with this baby. I think Namco is changing the game because their service is, is very organized, clean. Even their takeaway department, Namco is the one. There is no country like Namibia. Namibia is a very beautiful country. That's why I'm part of it. I studied medicine. I studied geology. I studied the Bachelor of Science. You start to heal people, touch patients, you touch lives, you save lives, you realize this is really what you want to do and you never get tired. Having graduated from the University of Namibia, I was able to open my own law firm and help people attend to their legal problems. Let's do the things that must be done and make it great. If you want to do it, just do it. That's what I wanted to do. So the sky is the limit. My unum, my pride. Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neopaints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neopaints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. If there is space, there can be focus. And if there is focus, the mind can be clear, the mind can be open. In the vast openness of Namibia, a jewel shines bright. A space to fill your mind with progressive thought and a space for your brain to breathe. It's a place where the inquisitive thrive and the passionate pursue, where you can realize things you thought you could only dream of. This place is the University of Namibia, offering you endless opportunities for endless possibilities. Alright, so that was uh, Vinduk Gymnasium versus VAP. Vinduk Gymnasium getting the game. One point lead, 15 14, as we eagerly wait. The Vinduk draft Velvitas playing the Vodacom Blue Bulls right here on NTV.